I am going to show you how to edit the tempo and change the time signature in Cuba's Element 11. So I'm starting to add a, a drum track first. Uh, also keep in mind that it only works with MIDI instruments, so if you recorded audio instruments first, it won't work on the audio tracks. So you have to prepare your song with the MIDI files, like drum, the drum parts, and all the MIDI file you recorded first, and then you can edit the tempo. Otherwise, it won't work. Let's choose some, um, okay, straight. Okay, so, so 5-4 in 151 BPM. So I'm dragging the, the drum track here. Okay, so 151, 5-4. So I am going to edit the, the, to get access to the tempo track, you have to use a shortcut CTRL plus T. And if you go at the beginning of the, of the track, you see that the, the default setting is 4-4. Four, four, so you choose 5-4, you enter 5-4, so and 151. So you have to go to at the beginning of the track and select here and go to One fifty one. So now we are in five four at one fifty one. Okay, let's go back to the main window. So let's assume that we, we want to change for the seven four groove. Here, at the ninth bar, we want to change at for 7-4 uh, groove in 140 BPM. So, we do that. We go back to the tempo window. At the ninth bar, you take the pen tool here and you write 7-4. Like this. And then, to go back. You have to click where you want the tempo to change, and then you write, you go to 140. Okay, so now if we start from here, you see that we are on 151. And now we are at 140 BPM in 7.4. So if you want to slow down or speed up, Gradually, instead of changing uh, on the first bit of the of the of the measure, you have to be you have to be sure to be in ramp mode, and then you select to do a run and tendo, for for example, on this one like start let's say starting four bar four bar before, you do this, and now if we start from the bar number three, you see we are on. 151. Now it starts to slow down gradually to 140. And we are at, now at 140 BPM in 7.4. It's that easy. So you can speed up, change, uh, change a bar, time signature, every measure, slow down, speed up. And it's extremely easy to do. And you have to be in RAM mode because if I go back to Creno, you see. And I don't know if when you play it, if it works or if it doesn't work. No, you see, it doesn't work. You have to be in ramp. Otherwise, it doesn't keep the change. Uh, so it's a cool way to do a ralentendo, accelerando, and uh, to change the time signature, of course. But uh, for example, uh, if you want to reproduce the live band, because normally when you play live and you play a up tempo song and you are starting to get crazy and to solo in and to solo and everything. Normally, the, the band is excited, so we have tendency to speed up the tempo. So, and it gives 
gives live aspect to the song, so it's a nice way to reproduce a live band. If you have like a up tempo rock song with speedy and lots of energy, if you speed up the tempo gradually near the end, uh, or during the guitar solo, and uh, it can add some drive to the song and uh, make it sound like a real group. So that's all there is to it. So remember, CTRL shortcut CTRL plus T and uh, you have to be in ramp mode here and that's all there is to it and you can also access to the tempo tempo page in project scroll down up to tempo tempo track and you have the shortcut CTRL plus T so you can get access to it from here and uh, that's all there is to it so <laughs>